I need benzene for a project I'm working on, and as it turns out, benzene is really expensive, so I'm just gonna make it myself. To get started, I mix together 100 grams of sodium benzoate and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide in an old steel paint can. The paint can is going to act as my reaction vessel and I'm using it because this process would completely destroy my expensive glassware. I carry this all outside and set it up for a simple distillation over a Bunsen burner. I chose to do this outside because benzene is a proven and fairly potent human carcinogen and I want to stay as far away from this as possible. As a side note, benzene is the primary chemical responsible for that unique smell of gasoline that a lot of you seem to like for some reason. Anyway, as the reaction heats up, the sodium benzoate and sodium hydroxide react to form sodium carbonate and free benzene. The benzene distills over as this yellow liquid along with a lot of water vapor that was present in the reactants. After about 30 minutes, no more benzene is distilling, so I cut the heat, disconnect my apparatus, and bring my benzene inside to further process it. You'll notice my crude benzene is a distinct orange color, which is weird because benzene is clear. I'm not sure where this color comes from, but if anybody does, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Regardless, I want this color gone, and I begin by washing my benzene with distilled water in a separatory funnel. I'm not sure if this is actually necessary, but this is pretty standard organic washing technique and old habits die hard. When I'm done shaking my separatory funnel, I drain off my lower aqueous layer which does look like it picked up some kind of contamination. I then drain off my upper layer containing my benzene into a small Erlenmeyer flask and my next step is to dry off any remaining moisture. This is done by the simple addition of any number of hydroscopic inorganic compounds. Most commonly, this would be calcium chloride, magnesium sulfate, or sodium sulfate, and I opted for calcium chloride. The amount I added was pretty arbitrary, but after I dump it in and give the flask a little swirl, you can see the benzene immediately clear up as the excess water is absorbed. This is allowed to sit for about another hour to complete the drying process, and then I transfer my product to a 500 milliliter boiling flask for a second distillation. For this I'm just going to do a short path distillation and I'm going to collect everything that comes over around 80 degrees celsius which is the boiling point of benzene. This process is pretty quick because benzene is a really low boiling solvent and it should get rid of this orange color. One thing that threw me off here is I checked my thermometer when the benzene began distilling and I noticed it only read 78 degrees. It took me a minute to figure this out, but it looks like some alcohol just traveled too far up my thermometer and got stuck there, so now all my readings are wrong, I guess. I also just realized I never actually said why I was making benzene or what it's used for. To clear that up, most benzene is used to make polystyrene, but it's also a critical organic building block for the synthesis of many different pharmaceuticals, munitions, textiles, dyes, you name it. I intend to use it to make the indicator methyl red, as well as aniline and a few aniline derivatives. Anyway, in the end my yield was 48.74 grams, which is a 90% yield if you round up. And that's the entire process. I hope you found this interesting, or at least informative, and if you want to see more content like this, consider following me here or on my YouTube.